Hello to my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it, Aries. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, Aries. Let's go. 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 So, Aries, we are closing out this cycle. This cycle, let me see. This reading is for the 25th of November through December 2nd. So, um, yeah, through December 2nd. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, the focus is really around um, being more health conscious, right? So... Source is saying the energy that you put out into the universe is going to come back to you, okay? Energy you're putting out into the universe is going to come back to you. Here's the Eight of Swords. So if you're sending out dark energy about other people, that's coming back to you. It's time for somebody to do the mirror work and take the blindfolds off. Two energies in particular, two energies, these are loved ones, who um, you may have been indecisive about who have been sending dark energy to you, like gossiping to you about people. So it's just saying you even engaging in conversation with them is actually hurting you. It's actually hurting you. So something has pushed you to your throne of just like, you're you talking to energies who are hurt people who hurt other people or talking about somebody behind closed doors who could be depressed or sad, that energy comes back to you. So source is saying something is causing you to say you're leaving behind a circus. Something has caused you to say, okay, you're just leaving behind a circus. You're starting to see things from a higher frequency and just you're, something is causing you to be rebuilding. Something is causing you to rebuild. Yep, something is causing you to rebuild. That's why I've been talking about, because there's a lot of masculine energy here tomorrow. Talking, you know, the fire and air, all that getting on. A lot of air, a lot of conversation to and a, to a particular spirit that could be like uh, this, uh, feel like they got the weight of the world on their shoulder and all of this, like anger and frustration is like, see, and your fire sign is actually setting your fire, setting you on fire. Like getting you all riled up. You know what I'm saying, Aries? It's like sitting there talking to some people just mad. They just mad at the whole world. So Source is saying, you talking to these energies is like literally looking into the mirror, restricting yourself. So you're learning how to, this week, you're learning how to write a love letter to self saying, that just doesn't serve my highest purpose. I need to talk it to, toss it into a burning bowl. Because I had on blind, see, both of these people have on blindfolds. Both of these energies have on blindfolds, right? This speaks to Gemini, this speaks to Libra. And so both of it, air, air energy. So I'm, I've been giving air to negative conversations about stuff and I shouldn't have, right? I've been giving air to something, to these spirits, this, you know, this, you know, having conversations about stuff <clears throat> when I should have been praying for it. So that's what Source is trying to help somebody learn how to do is see things from a higher frequency. In other words, what Source is trying to get you to do is like snatch you up out of conversations that you should be praying for, especially since you all are ruled by the tower card. Y'all the prayer warriors. <laughs> like Source is really trying, you all are the first sign in the zodiac. I don't care what your age is. You could be the youngest child in your family, the youngest adult child in your family. Even if you have siblings older than you are, you need to stop the conversation and like, no, we need to pray for this situation. The end. The end. I don't want to have no, we're not talking negative about, we need to pray for a situation. That's what Source is trying to get you all to do. I don't care. All this friction and competition and all this mess going on. No, we need to pray about a situation. So Source is trying to get you to thrive in your family like you to be the example in your family of like what it looks like when people are successful that's why you're an aries you're the first sign in the zodiac like fearless somebody okay the first person to start a family first person to buy a house first person to... source is trying to use you to be the example of what a prayer warrior looks like when you pray how quickly source can answer your prayers 
not join in the confusion. So that's what somebody had to learn. When it looks what it looks like when you're on the light side of emperor energy. So you may have impacted people. <clears throat> what I'm seeing in your cards here, Aries, is that you made a very powerful impact on someone's life that actually took that and ran with it. Like, I, that's why I keep saying, like, slow down so y'all can see the impact, y'all, the positive impact y'all are making on people's lives. Somebody that you, some a loved one, or it could be two loved ones, y'all impacted their lives in a way that y'all are not seeing it from a higher frequency. They took what they could have seen a dark situation and turned it into something, the light side of emperor energy. They prayed, source answered their prayers real fast. And boom, something took off for them. That's the powerful impact y'all are having on people that somebody got on blindfolds and can't even see it. That's why that's why I mentioned in my previous reading, Aries, that sometimes y'all think people are engaging in conversations about y'all. If you got on blindfolds and you're entering into the conversation, you can't even see that you're making positive impacts on people. You know what I'm saying? Like you could work for uh you could work for a, a manager and be like, oh my God, this person is not a good manager. But you can take that same poor leadership skills and turn it around to something positive and your whole staff love you. You're like, okay, not because you're talking negative about that manager, you're like, okay, well, I, I just won't do what they did. Okay. The source is trying to get you to see something from a higher frequency, learning how to control your fire. Here's a justice card. Somebody was definitely around two energies. Vain, vengeful, green with envy spirits. Who as soon as you cut off the financial situation. As soon as you cut off the... As soon as you shut down the financial situation... They go right into, and you couldn't see it. Somebody felt blindsided. They go right into doing all kinds of stuff. So, yep, right in your family. Ten of Pentacles. Right? So you're trying to break some kind of generational cycle chaining curse. You're trying to break some kind of generational cycle chaining curse where you are stopping this, jumping to conclude, like on blindfolds, I couldn't see it, I don't know, moving around so fast. But somebody's learning how to stop doing that. Judging people based on, you know, somebody moving on, all of this. So emotionally, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Because you're cutting, you're cutting off the emotional piece and saying, okay, well, I got emotional ties with them and just... You know, so somebody's at the end of a long journey. So, yeah, you're definitely doing some kind of rebuilding here. And I do see your money growing as a result of that. And your money is growing because you, you're a stop. Somebody is learning how to plant some new seeds. That's how you're going to start seeing your harvest grow. In other words, you're going to start seeing how quickly source is going to answer your prayers. When you learn how to contain your fire. You're going to start seeing how quickly your prayers are being answered, right? So that's how somebody's going to feel like they jumped out of a treasure chest, right? So um, I do see um, I do see um like I said, I do see you continuing to work hard. I see your money growing. But I do see you saying more of no to just giving people money. Like something, you you were, you were impulsively just giving away um, your time slash money, right? I see you um, learning how to just kind of like stop doing that. Some people you stop giving money to, they're not vindictive. They just like, oh, okay, whatever. They go, they just get, get to work. They start working for it. They start growing their own money. That's it. Some people you stop giving money and time to, they get vindictive. They do all kinds of stuff. They want to take you to court. They want to sue you. They want to do all kinds. They want to do all kinds of stuff to just ruin your life. 
And we had the two of wands here. So I definitely feel like your motivation has now changed. Your motivation has now changed. So here we have the seven of cups here. A lot of it has to do with the environment that some people are in too. Some people are just in an environment where they're just this poisonous environment. And you're now waking up to that, right? Some people are just in a, in a poisonous environment. And so somebody is now just learning how to um, move on quickly. Somebody's just learning how to just move on quickly. So when the scales fall from your eyes, some people, like I said, you say no to them. They say, okay, I'll go get a job. I'll go get three, four jobs. I'll just go work for it, whatever. No, no sweat off their back. And some people do all kinds of stuff. They have you declared as crazy to take over your money. They want power of attorney. They do all kinds of just weird, strange mess. You just be like, what? Right? So now somebody is learning how to, you know, like leave that kind of stuff behind. Like somebody is now learning how to say, okay, you're moving on. Oh. So, yep. So I definitely feel like you are, um, you're no longer confused at this point. I definitely feel like you are no longer confused at this point. Now that you're back in the saddle, I feel like you are no longer confused. Some people are just hardworking people. They just get to work. Some people are not stressing They're like, hey, that's your money. You work hard for it. They can work, they can work just as hard as you can. Is the high priest. So now that you have some, um, now you have an innate spiritual understanding of certain things, now it's starting to make, now things are starting to make sense. How stubborn some energies can be. So, either some money is coming from your way, an organization that was working extra hard to confuse a bunch of people about you. It could be your job that you work with, an organization you were aligning with, but you're leaving behind a bunch of confusion. We're leaving behind a bunch of confusion. Mm -hmm. Four of cups here. So, yeah, so I feel like you got off the fence of overthinking, especially when people give you the cold shoulder and all this other stuff and all of this, and learning how to just pray for clarity. Okay, how come so and so don't talk to me anymore? Somebody could have died. I mean, anything could have happened. Somebody could have died. Somebody could have gone through a divorce. Their kids could be out of control. Like somebody gonna stop this confusion, <laughs> assuming this and jump into conclusion and go straight into prayer. That's what being a prayer warrior is for. Get from around shady people. See these big shade trees right here? Source is cooking up something nice for you. And leaving behind a certain belief systems where you were just stuck in certain belief systems. All right. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. Somebody's getting away from all of this confusion. And talking directly to people will also clear things up too. <laughs> that that always helps. So things can already start flowing to you like water. It's time to treat yourselves to a spa day. Um, yeah, I see you being booked and busy, not burdened at all. You have the gift of, um, let me see, clear audience. You have clear listening. But it's time for you to get some fresh air. Time to get some fresh air. Move in silence and move in peace. It's you versus you. Yep. Yeah. You're not in competition with anybody. Like, um, message from your ancestors. Adjust your crown. Right? But you have not You have the gift of clear cognizance. That's psychic knowledge about other people. And so, just move on. Don't look back. Check your request list again. Check your request list again. So, yeah. So, like I said in the previous reading, for those of you all who are new to my channel, again, welcome. Um, you're going to start learning how to use your ruling planet to your advantage. It's a ruling planet for a reason. You're ruled by the tower card. Instead of saying, oh, my God, I'm having a tower moment, you're going to say, actually embrace it. Oh, I'm having a tower moment. Time for me to pray about some. Pray for clarity. Okay, source, what do you want me to know? 
I have been asked, I have been confused about some things in my life, okay? I know it's getting ready to come to me fast, so let me grab my notepad. That's what you're going to start saying. Let me grab my notepad. Put my cell phone out. Get to the notes section of my cell phone. I know you got something for me, source. I don't know how it's going to come through. I don't know if it's going to come through in a burning bush. It's how, how it's going to come through. Let me get from around a bunch of shady people that's talking about nothing. They got a bunch of assumptions. Let me let me pull out my notepad. You're very close to achieving your goal. Abundance. I'm so grateful that my bank account is full and my cup runneth over. I'm so grateful that dot, dot, dot is now mine. It is being transferred to me at this very moment. I keep trying to tell you, our source has been trying to make somebody very wealthy, but all being around all this confusing and jumping to conclusions, there's nothing funny about any of that. Getting to a point where you just black out and just go off, all of that, that's... So, yeah, make sure that's something that you part ways with and close out this week. Like when you're talking about you're sitting around having he some good, healthy food, you know, celebrating what you're thankful and grateful for. Put together that gratitude list that that will no longer be a part of your life. Jumping to conclusions about things. Close that part out. Jumping to conclusions about stuff. Being around a bunch of confusion. See? This card came out. See how this person has? This card came out for somebody else, too. Like, you got avocados. You got, like, just healthy foods on the table. That does make a difference, too. Like, what you're putting in your body, the food you're eating. Y'all notice there's certain foods you put in your body. You instantly feel tired. The stuff you said you wanted to do, you didn't get it done because you're exhausted now because you ate certain foods. So, somebody's now going to stop waiting until there's a tower moment or crisis Meaning that your doctor says if you still eat certain foods, you may not make it to next year. Somebody's going to stop doing that kind of stuff where you have to have, when you're looking at the tower moment as something negative and start seeing it as something positive. Okay, that, that's just the tap on the shoulder I needed for me to start going into prayer by myself. I need, I need clarity from source, directly from source. So I see your wishes being fulfilled, but I also see, I see somebody else's wishes being fulfilled too, but I do see their tears. I do see that there are some tears because I do finally feel like somebody's going to feel like just like, wow, you know, so much time has passed, a bunch of confusion, all this stuff. When somebody could have stopped jumping to conclusions and just spoke and just asked some questions. That's, I mean, mm -hmm. and on blindfolds. I keep saying it's all fun and games until somebody's being used as a pawn in the game. Something from now on is going to be black and white. From now on, talk to people, not about people. But something had to happen in order for all of this to happen right here. Something had to happen for somebody to finally get it. So now you're on your throne of prayer. Now you're on your throne of prayer. Be determined to stay there. So, source is speeding up your, um, whatever you've been praying for, source is speeding it up. Source is speeding it up. Right? So, I see somebody now going, trying to go back, like, connecting through some happier times, some happier memories, some nostalgic memories. You know what I'm looking at here in the cars is that... <clears throat> um, somebody is now learning how to cut ties with a bunch of confusion. And I mentioned this in a previous video, like somebody is now learning how to have warm fireside chats where people are not racing out of spaces where they tears, they crying, they upset, they're frustrated and confused. People are learning how to talk to people as equal and not talking down to people because they're older, because somebody said, I said so, because it's my way or the highway. You're not talking down to your kids. You're not looking at it as like, you know, using people as pawn, like all this craziness going on in this reading. Somebody is now learning how to say, okay, you're going to start remembering some of your, um, um, loved ones when you were growing up and start looking at things through an adult more mature lens how in the world 
were certain people able to um, believe in themselves when there was so much confusion going on, right? And start to see how there could be a generation coming after you that looked at you, Aries, and said, how in the world was Aries able to accomplish so much with so much confusion going on? The, the reading is actually a very positive reading if you really pay attention to it. If you can just slow down, it's a very positive reading. A lot of you all don't see people, see yourself through the lens that other people see you through because you're so busy moving so fast. You know, unless it's a love interest that's saying, oh, you, you, you're you this and you're this. All this competing and comparison is just... And But part of that, again, is Mars because Mars is the... Um, um, Mars is also the sexual energy planet as well. So it should not be a person you're dating giving you a compliment over your own kids or your sibling or somebody else or somebody else can give me a warm fireside chat saying, hey, look, you know, you really inspired, you motivated me. If it wasn't for you, you know, I'm seeing how you're able to do all of these things and you're able to, I saw you go through all of these things and you still come out the house dressed nice, you got your stuff together, you got all this, and I saw you go through hell behind closed door. I know what you're going through. Somebody shouldn't have to, mm, mm, mm. y'all will get it. Y'all will get it. You will get it. Eight eight eight. I'm abundant. So as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and create a path, a place for abundance. I've been saying this to you all for years. I used to start off my reading Aries. For those of you all who are new to my channel, I used to start off my reading with all those positive things about Aries. <laughs> These had to be cross watchers, and I'm laughing because <clears throat> I don't get offended by negative comments because sometimes people are keyboard warriors. They say all, People just say all kinds of stuff, right, to invoke, you know, to try to get some kind of response out of people, but they don't work over here. And some people were saying, I don't want to hear all these positive things about Aries. So I don't know if they were cross watchers who have been hurt by Aries or if there's actually Aries that just want to get to the reading. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But so it's saying, sometimes it's good to hear positive things about yourself other than from people you dating or people you married to. Like you want to hear positive things that you put some good energy out into the universe. You inspire people. You know how to use your fire properly. Don't you want to hear some of that coming back? <laughs> Stop, get, take the blindfolds off. Everything should be so black and white. Being, that's how people get used as pawns. Surrender. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego that's edging God out is what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. That's a person who is on the dark side of emperor energy. It is their way or the highway. That ruins every single relationship on the planet. We are not each other's gods. Even now when I'm seeing comments where people jump to conclusions. I said, like if I say, hey, we're in the last quarter moon phase. And somebody says to me, somebody says, um, no, actually, we are in a waning crescent moon. I say phase. Yes, we're in a waning crescent moon. It's technically a waning crescent moon. We're still in the last quarter moon phase. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. So it's to say stop trying to control some learn how to have some things a gray area. So your dreams need a practical plan. Something having to do with a Taurus. Something having to do with somebody who was a bullying spirit. And something doesn't happen for somebody until like they're coming out like a bull in a china closet. Like something, somebody don't see stuff until something just goes completely off. And then all of a sudden everybody like blindfolds come off. Oh my God, I didn't see that. That's that's energies that like drama. That needs to go, that needs to go into a burning bowl. That's what I have for you all. Thank you for joining me. But like I said, you all are making very powerful impacts on people's lives. If you can't see it, unless it's just coming through a love interest relationship, then that needs to change. That, that needs to change. So that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.